welcome back, welcome on back in to TK's garage. Now today, and I don't even know how this looks on camera, but today we actually have an install video. And we have two of these that I picked up. Now I'd like to find a link for these on Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description. But we got these leather sideless seat covers. It'll accomplish what I want, which is basically not be swamp ass in a cloth seat. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, now supposedly this is just supposed to come down like this and it gets tied down. Now, of course, I'm probably going to have to read the instructions on this one. But I see this goes down over the back. So it's going to go through the headrest which would be right there but let me go ahead and get this thing set up and we'll get it going now full disclosure it is hot as balls in this truck so i'm gonna fire up and run this damn ac while we do what we're doing okay yeah because i ain't about to be out here getting swamp ass for no reason <clears throat> now i'm pretty sure that just goes through here like so right yeah yeah all right i see that i see that i kind of see how this works i see how it's coming together i kind of like it too i kind of like this all right now i know this is supposed to have instructions right is that right here no I wonder what this is is this like a a a tab oh you know what i bet you this goes in the seat yeah it goes right here all right see look i'm figuring this out without the instructions look at that see we we getting this man we are figuring this out okay i kind of like how this is coming together this is not turning out to be a a bad idea a bad thing wait a minute I kind of want that like so. Yep. And then we want this up over the seat. Yep. Yep. Now the bad problem is I got electric seats. So how I'm gonna make this snap and clip around and not get caught in this track is gonna be tricky. But I think we can do it. All right. Doo -doo -doo. All right. All right, I see that. Oh, so that goes, so the headrest goes through these. All right, hold on. I'm learning something here. I'm learning something here. Hold on. Uh-oh. Let me find out this don't come out. <laughs> Let me find out this don't come out. It's not looking like it. It is not looking like it comes out. Oh, come on, man. Stop playing. Oh, you got to be kidding me, right? You got to be kidding me, man. You got to be kidding me. All right, you gotta be kidding me. Let me jump up in here real quick. I know. Ooh, that actually feels kind of nice. Man, YouTube is an awesome thing. I actually had to look up a video. Evidently, Sevy has made this extra dumb to take out a headrest. So now you gotta supposedly unscrew this shit wait a minute <laughs> wait wait a minute Yeah, I'm not seeing that. Supposedly these are supposed to turn, but it doesn't look that way. 
So next, <laughs> I gotta keep searching. Oh. All right, guys, we're back. We figured it out. So this one actually has a release pin on the other side. So you need like a an Allen wrench or something like that for a, for a paper clip or something to push this button in. And then you push this button in and then it should release the whole headrest. See, the power of YouTube. That, my people, is the power of YouTube. I love that right there. I'm gonna put that down on the floor. We're gonna get this up and over here. And it also puts like a little cargo thing for the rear, which is kind of cool. I'm kind of feeling that. All right, let's get this over because I kind of want this under that. I kind of want this thing, yeah, I want this thing to look like it's supposed to be on here, not some add-on BS. All right, there we go. There's that, and there's that. All right. Now this will give you just a very brief angle of what that looks like, but you can see there, it looks like it's supposed to be on the seat. So we'll chop that up as a W. Now on to the next part, put the headrest back. Oh, actually, where's my headrest cover? Here it is, right here. I think I could put this on now, like so. Woohoo! I actually ordered some custom headrest covers that are embossed with some uh, cool stuff, so you guys will see them soon. Stay tuned for that. All right, we almost got this thing on there. That doesn't really look right. <laughs> we'll get it. I know we'll get it. It's close. It's still not right. Tie this in a little bit of a knot. Mm. Boy, it is a hot one out here today, man. Damn. Gotta be so damn hot. See, y'all are all summer babies. Y'all probably love this. I don't. I am not. I do not like it in the summer, man. I do not like heat. Period. Unless I'm in Miami. There's a, I guess it's a difference. Maybe when I was single... And I was in Miami, I liked the heat more because the women was like basically ass naked down there. I'm guessing. That's that's my thought. That's scumbag TK right there. But, uh, you know. After you own a strip club so long, it, there's only so much naked stuff you can see that, that kind of gets you excited. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like, oh, all right, she naked, whatever. All right. Let's put this one in. Oh yeah, I like that already. I like that already. I like how that looks already. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I'm liking this right now. All right. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this in. All right, guys, so this is basically the finished product. You know, it got nice, it pulls nice and tight around the front. Um, I actually didn't use the lips on the sides because of my electric motors, but you can see how the headrest looks on it. You got the Chevy logo there. And then this is kind of like a fake leather. So even if you're sweaty or something in the truck, it's not just constantly getting into your seat. That's why I wanted these, because when I come back from Copart, you can see I've only been outside here for like 20, 30 minutes, but look at this, man. Look how much I'm sweating already, just from the heat. 
And I, was, I didn't want to keep putting that in my seats, man. It makes your truck start to smell like a gym, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to do all that. Now, I'm going to take a shower because I'm already sweaty and nasty. But there's what this one looks like after it's been first installed. Let's go take care of the rest of my day. All right, so I know you guys are probably asking, so how is it? Well, you can see how it's stretching here in the rear with me sitting in it. And it kind of feels just like a leather seat with the, um, you know, like you know, how you slide a little bit in a leather seat. It's, how do I say this? Nice. I am enjoying it. Um, I will probably install the other one on that seat in the front later. Maybe when the sun goes down and it's not so hot. It's so hot out here. I got this one seat done and I was like, not happening. But anyways, I got a little bit of a drive ahead of me. Let's go ahead and get this in and uh, let me know what you guys think about these seats. I will try to put a link to these uh, in the description down below if I could find them on Amazon. Let me know what you guys think. So one of the things I have been asked about and I just got done doing my OnStar call, I went ahead and activated the unlimited data plan. It's 20 bucks right now with OnStar. So I figured I spend so much time in the truck driving between different co-parts and driving across the country that, you know, I usually use AT&T on my uh, other phone and I have T-Mobile on my iPhone. I also have Verizon too, but I just figured, you know, I can connect my MacBook in the truck, have videos uploading on the go. This is AT&T Enterprise. I am in the proverbial boonies. Uh, there is no service here for the most part. I don't have any with T-Mobile, but I'm getting pretty good data speeds off of my truck. Um, is one point something megabits or two megabits a second upload going to uh, upload a 10 gigabyte video quick? No, but if I'm on a long road trip and I don't have to be plugged into my phone, and my truck, you know, the MacBook's plugged into the truck and it's uploading. I can get stuff done in my truck. And right now, because of the pandemic, the data prices for unlimited in your truck is cheap because I guess they figure nobody's going to be out. Well, I'm about to crush that. We're going to see how many gigabytes of data I can use this month on AT&T. Enterprise. You see that? It's enterprise. Business. Business AT&T. Anywho's. I just wanted to give you guys a quick speed test on that. And overall, it's, it's usable. It's good enough for you to download music or stream music or watch YouTube videos. Um, and for 20 bucks a month, if it's unlimited, you know, especially if you have like a limited data plan, like say you're on like Xfinity or Spectrum, those off-brand Verizons, or maybe you got like Boost Mobile, or like me, you got T-Mobile as your primary line and then you know, you go out here to the boonies and then you have no friggin' service. So, it's a good deal. Right, can't it be like that? Fuck that guy. That joke is hard for you to swallow. Well, it don't take much for us to let... What is up, guys? Yeah, it is the next day. Yes, I'm out here rocking some beet nuts. Y'all youngsters don't even know about that shit. That's what's crazy, man. <laughs> Yeah, y'all out there. And no disrespect, man. I'm, you know, maybe I'm that old dude now that's out here talking about get off my lawn. Or y'all kids don't know how it was back in my day. Maybe, maybe I'm at that age now, but I don't know, man. <sighs> I'm not saying all of the skinny jean, you know, codeine rap is horrible. Just most of it. <laughs> Anyways. Um all right man so we got the seat installed yesterday you guys got to see that we did that um i added the data plan the at&t data plan which by the way after further inspection you know like it works great literally for like the first 30 minutes and then it it, it literally yes it is hot spot for your vehicle and yes i guess maybe in certain areas it's good like you can open up like the app store stuff like this you can run like marketplace and a couple other cool apps on it but i do not know if i would run like you can't really run much else on it you know what i'm saying that's the that's the issue that i have with it like i tried to stream a couple youtube videos it was just like if i turned my wi-fi on the phone just worked better um i guess i'll use it as a stopgap basically just to stay connected when i'm in the boonies where 
T-Mobile doesn't work, but which is crazy because I also have AT&T and, and Verizon. So, I mean, eh, I don't know. It was 20 bucks. I figure I'll try it for the month. If it's not, if it's not great, you know, if it doesn't improve like in the next week or whatever, I can always cancel. It was 20 bucks, big deal. So, um, nah, whatever. But, um, yeah, man nothing crazy today i'm kind of taking a lazy day it is a friday you guys are either going to see this video today later on friday or probably saturday just depends on if i want to publish this other walk around yet and, I, and the reason why i'm waiting is because i'm waiting to see if my offer like if they accept my bid um that i made on a copart vehicle because then i'm going to add to it so if you're seeing this on friday it means I won another Copart car and or truck and I have to pick it up and I want to add that to the Copart video so um, if you see this on Saturday then I didn't win or they didn't accept the offer you know it was on approval it is what it is but anyways we're um, getting back to it I go to the dentist I was supposed to be there at 7 o'clock this morning at the time of this video it is 8 you rat bastard it is uh, 8.21 in the morning. I was at my dentist at 7 o'clock this morning, only for when I got there, and I'd already been sitting there 10 minutes. Did they say, hey, can you come back at 11? I, I, I'm I, not a morning person. I'm not a fan of getting my ass up at, at uh, whatever time it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get up when I get up. Sometimes that's 10. Sometimes that's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Depends on how late I stay up. I'm not like that. That thing with the dentist this morning, man, that was some bullshit. But my day got a little better because, you know, I went to the Waffle House, got me my cheese, egg, grits, and toast, you know, and a waffle, of course. So that's kind of like my uh, majority of my calorie intake for the day. And it was good. So I'm straight. So now I'm literally going back to the house to chill. And then we'll uh, head back to the... Um, we'll head back to the dentist here in a little bit. And then... Depending on how the day goes, you guys may get to see a little clip of me heading over to Copart to pick up our Copart win if they accept that offer. I'm still waiting. But anyways, let's get it. Well, it's now 11 a.m. and I'm back here at the dentist. So we're going to go in. I'm going to get these, uh, get this other stuff taken care of here at the dentist. And then we're going to continue on with our day. Oh man, so what do we have here today? Look at the dust. That's when you know you're driving through the farm areas and they're seeding and stuff. Just coating all over the paint. Well, we got this in today. I'm going to cut this open. Now, this is actually a step, supposedly, for the rear of the truck. We'll get into the company and all that stuff who makes it here in just a second. Came in via Amazon. All right, so we got the box open. Let's see, we got a bunch of bubble wrap. We got the step itself. Let me get this out of the box. There we go. Looks like it folds up. Kind of cool. And that'll actually go right there into the hitch on the Mamba. And then it's got a nice little bolt-on thing to keep it in place so that it doesn't, it's not just a pin. So, of course it's not gonna let me do it one-handed right there we go i know y'all gonna be like tk you just gotta get it in the hole now look at that look at how that sits on there so that now gives you a full step so you can literally just step up on this to get up onto the back of your truck in case there was like something you needed to get 
you know what I'm saying, up on the roof, something along those lines. So that is what's up. If you guys are interested in this, I will put a link in the description down below. This is actually kind of cool. Now, what I like about it is I can leave it in and I can just do that. You know what I'm saying? And it almost acts as like a, a little um, bumper guard, so to speak. You can see it's not really getting anywhere near the paint. And then you can just put it down. It's kind of cool. All right. So you can see I got the nut in there like so on both sides and now it's kind of secured there you have it cool little mod so there you have it major shout out to rhino storm for uh providing a step i really appreciate it now this is called the rhino storm receiver hitch step heavy duty trailer fold up hitch step <laughs> okay that's a long name for this but hey I've seen worse names with smartphones, so I really guess I can't complain about a hitch step. Kind of cool. All right, today, guys, we have to go check out the other Aspen. Yes, it is the next day. Old car. And we want to see how this step performs on the way out. Hour and a half drive. All right, we are back out here with our projects. I got to do a couple things first. I got to tighten up some of the grass and weed eat some stuff out here. So we're going to do that. Weed eat around the truck. I actually just need to move the truck, which we will end up doing. But um, yeah, the Aspen is still here. And like I said, y'all thought like she wasn't really put together, but it's really, for the most part, all together. The only thing that it really needs are the fenders and stuff and the hood you know the front end stuff but she's pretty much done um and we have a plan for the civic y'all gonna laugh but i might get on some crazy stuff with that civic so stay tuned for that but anyways uh let's get into this yard work crap All right, so the yard work is done. Now what we're gonna do is, we're probably gonna pull that civet because I need to cut the grass under it. And uh, we're gonna jump start. Don't you like my radiator cap? <laughs> we're gonna jump start the Aspen, but first I gotta put a jump box on it. Now, one of the issues I am seeing is that there may be a loose ground um, here somewhere. And I don't know exactly where it is, but sometimes it doesn't want to start at all. Now, it could be a bad starter. It's possible, but I doubt it. Let's uh, hook up the Audell to it and see what happens. All right. So now, if these damn wasps will stay the F away from me, we uh, see I'm trying to position the GoPro up so you guys can see what we're doing. There we go. I have the... Uh, <laughs> Say it with me. Do 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 do. Woo! Fail. Alright, let me try it back here. How about that? Is that better? I gotta look through the viewfinder though and see. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. So we're gonna pull this thing out. Let me just whip this out. <laughs> pull out the cables. Alright. Oh man, the extra USB-C cables are nice if you want to charge a phone or something off this. Pretty cool. C to C, so it'll give you that fast charge. And then to plug this thing in, 
to do a jump, it uses this cool little nifty jumper cable thing. So we're literally gonna drop this in like so, right? And then we're gonna pinch that onto the positive. And then let's see if the truck clicks when we put it all together here. That onto the negative. This is about half charged. I might have enough to jump at once. And now we'll uh, go in and see if she'll uh, cooperate and fire up. It's weird. Remember, she didn't want to start like this last time, and I had to mess around with it, and eventually it did. <sighs> yeah, but see, she's not doing nothing now. I might be doing something wrong on the jump pack. Hold on. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see if I did this correctly. Yeah, she's up. This is plugged in. Oh, I didn't want the flashlight on. Huh. Interesting. No power, no nothing, huh? Now, full disclosure, she did come out here and try to jump this earlier. I'm hoping she didn't blow a fuse or something on this. Because I'm not even hearing her click or do anything. I guess this thing is just super dead. We could hope it's that too, right? But you'd think it would still put some power up. Nothing. Alright. Well, I guess it's time to get out the jumper cables. Now, I know you savages are going to be like, oh, TK, that jumper pack failed. Listen, man. Look, look, look here before you, before y'all jump in the comments, you savages. It ain't just a jumper pack. It is less than 50% charged. Maybe it's, maybe you have to have a full charge for it to do uh, the jumper cable. I don't know. I will ask the company about it, though, but I don't think, I guess this wasn't a great advertisement, right? That's how we keep it real here. Anyways, let me go get the jumper cables and we'll get this thing running. And for you guys that are like, oh, get a jump pack. Look here, man. I got plenty jump packs. <laughs> Savages. I just can't use them on the yard. They just don't allow them. They don't allow me to do them yet. Let me hook everything up first. Negative. God damn, these mosquitoes, man. So much rain out here. The ditches are full of them. All right. We got power, yet I'm still not hearing anything clicking on in this truck at all. Okay, I heard it that time. She's got power. I heard it. Yep, there it is. The mileage said 223 something on it. That's wrong, but that's funny. Let's see if she starts. I saw a fuse. Did you see that? It said fuse on the thing here. I would say dead. I hear the starter trying to click. Hey, babe. Did you hear it do this? Is that what it did before? No. It didn't click? The clicking I heard was inside, back there. Yeah, that's a door regulator. Yeah, all right, I gotta bring the truck over. All right, now we got the Mamba hooked up and running. That clicking back there is a window regulator. You can see we got 223,000 miles. That's wrong. But let's see what she does. Power up. Yo, the mileage on this is saying 223 now, and when it was only like one something. And the truck? Yeah. No, it's still full of water. She's not starting though. It says no fuse. No fuse. 
Fuse. F-U-S-E. That whatever fuse controls the the starter, yeah, I'm guessing. I'm gonna, I gotta look at them, yeah. Just waiting to see if she'll. It almost sounds like she's hitting the starter, but not getting enough of a a start. Almost like, like I said, like a ground. Or something is loose you know what I'm saying almost like the ground is loose and that's last time she did that you know and I don't remember what we did I think we just fucked around with the wire and she started up I hope it starts this time <clears throat> I'm gonna completely Remove the key. That mileage is wrong, man. Now I'm wondering if the computer's tripping. <sighs> oh boy. Ah, uh, try it. Do that again. One more time. Uh-oh. Uh, let me get something real quick. I think I know what it is. <laughs> so got up under there? Nope. I'm gonna bang this starter. I hear the starter clicking and it's not engaging, which means the starter could be bad. But it's right here, so. Hold on, let me set that up right here. Try it. Nothing? Nothing? Ugh. Try it again. One more time. Yep. I think it's a bad starter. Well guys, I guess we're gonna hold the L because it's not gonna start. Now I don't know what the hell it is that caused this because it did start last time. Now it's almost like the motor seized, which I know it's not. Y'all gonna have to let me know in the comments if you know what this is. And I already did the shift to neutral and try to start it trick. Yeah. All right, let me unplug the Mamba. I tried a different ground point instead of my battery. None of it worked. The Mamba, which I know can start this thing, uh, just ain't starting it, which is crazy. And yes, I had it grounded straight to the battery. Um, I looked for another ground point in the truck. Like, I think I even went here off one of these bolts. I went off of this bolt. Or this nut. You can see the spark. It just ain't... It ain't firing up, man. Evidently, and that starter is clicking hard. The starter is clicking mad hard on the Aspen. So I'm just guessing... That maybe the starter just went bad, you know?
luckily it ain't too hard of a job it's literally right there i can just reach in and do it so no big deal you know i thought maybe one of the ground cables were bad and it could still be that i, I don't know we'll have to we'll have to look and see but oh well that's it for this damn All right, I think you guys were on to something. Some of you guys said that this seat looks like crap. Look at this. It doesn't, it's not lining up. I don't know. This might be a good solution if your seats are already jacked up. But like, if you got perfectly good seats, I don't see why you'd want to do this. This is not, like it's just a pain in the ass. I'm not enjoying it. All right. So we got done dealing with the Aspen. Put my mask on. Oh my God. And I figured while we were out, it's 4th of July. You know, let me see what Reebok talking about. Or a couple other spots. Maybe I'll pick up some hats at Lids or whatever. But let's go see what's up. Oh, we one mile away from 37,000 miles. Mm. Mm. I meant like I think you're ready for winter man What do y'all think about these? Somebody already stuffed them joints though That's a negative You see my Tim's right now are kind of shot Hmm So, we picked up two pairs of Tims, so I'll be ready for the winter. And then I got two more pairs of uh, Jordans today. So this is my treating myself on the 4th of July. We'll, we'll look at these later. So, what is up guys? It is the next day. And you probably saw like the end of yesterday's video was me getting some new J's. I got some Jordan, the one pair of the new Jordans fresh on my feet right now. I, but another pair, you know, you, you know, they're supposed to take all the tabs and stuff off your joint, but they left one of them theft joints on my sneaker, and I was like, I was just gonna break it off. And she was like, No, I don't do that. If you do it, it's gonna squirt ink everywhere. I had no idea. So now we're on the way back. Jordans are over here in the passenger seat. I got to get these. uh super shiny red and black joints uh un -theft detected so i can wear them out uh for a couple different things that we got coming up but uh yeah oh man i don't know what else we're going to add into the video this is kind of and today's video is kind of a hodgepodge of a bunch of just different stuff i had going on in between the copart videos um no i didn't film a bunch of stuff fourth of july i really wasn't doing a bunch of fireworks because everybody else in my neighborhood had all the illegal fireworks so there was no worrying about, oh, I'm not going to be able to see a, a fireworks display. Between that and the massive fireworks display on Fort Bragg, it was kind of like, I don't need to go, I don't need to go buy no damn fireworks. You know what I'm saying? That said, I am a scumbag, though, when it comes to my money. So I know everything's like 80% off today. So I'll probably go buy, <laughs> I'll probably go buy some fireworks today because they're going for cheap. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh. Oh man, so we took care of the issue at Nike, taking my ass home. I thought there might have might have been some more exciting shit because there was supposedly a, a cars and coffee going on, but wasn't nobody there because you know everybody's hiding behind the uh, the virus shit. So you know it is what it is. 
my side bitches, Alice. Damn. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Yo, dude got his truck set his side bitches, Allison. I love that. That's a Duramax. All right. See the Mamba's pulling up. Ah. Anyways. So, uh, yeah, man. Let me, let me run down this BMW from New York up here. <laughs> this BMW is going to be like, shit, I'm getting pulled over. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, look at him. He's like, let me slow down. <laughs> I swear, my intention is not for people to think that this truck is the police. When they hear it coming up on them, they should know, automatically know. There ain't no, ain't no police PPV uh, Tahoe sound like this. So, anywho's, um, I just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in today. This is kind of just a video. A couple different things we needed to take care of. I tried try to go get the other Aspen running again. Um, and get some different measurements for parts. We might try to turn that Aspen into a Hellcat Aspen. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might do something crazy. Like throw a, throw a Hellcat supercharger on it. And all kinds of other crap. We'll see. But um, that said, you also are going to get to see some supercharger content here on the Tahoe soon. The uh, cams... Uh, you know the camshaft and all the new top end valve stuff which will get rid of all of this uh act, permanently get rid of all the active fuel management stuff is coming off the tahoe here real soon aka the black mamba yeah we're still giving it away um you know we have what two and a half weeks left for any of the channels to hit a benchmark where i'm rolling the windows down so y'all get a little bit more light um less than two and a half more weeks before if any of the channels hit the benchmark, we're giving this truck away. And if not, I think we may build it out and then I might do something crazy with it. I don't know. I'm not going to do some whistling diesel shit where I destroy it. But then again, you never know. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll have to see. But, um, yeah, craziness. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow morning, I have to go to Copart really early before the auction. Uh, so that's going to be crazy. We're going to do that. Oh, look. All those people over there in the cemetery. Anywho's, that's going to pretty much do it for me. I'm about back out here towards the farm. Uh, I know you guys have been asking me for like a property tour. And I might do that to a certain extent. Like we might go out to the field that we lease out field that we have that's leased out to people who farm that we own now that they're done farming it and we've burned it off i might take you guys out there maybe we'll do some donuts in the truck or do some dumb shit oh look at that sunset over there can y'all see that we're going by pepsi right now look at that sunset over there man that's beautiful wow i will say that about out here in the country i do enjoy like just being able to roll out here i'm not really in traffic the only time i really hit traffic is when i go into fayetteville but i enjoy this man i enjoy it out here plus it's cheap you can't like you can't you can't argue with cheap you know but anyways guys enjoy that sunset i hope you guys have an amazing day thank you guys for tuning in with me today and watching today's video which was just me doing a bunch of bullshit and looking at different things like the step so shout out to, to Rhino Storm and shout out to E-Diag and shout out to everybody. Uh, we just shipped today. I just shipped out the E-Diag uh, over to the winner, which is in the comment section that won the last E-Diag scanner. And um, we actually had a giveaway for 200 bucks today, which I believe his name is Raul. It's in the comment section from uh, today's premiere. Yesterday, well, for you guys, it'll be yesterday's premiere. Who won that? And when I get home, I got to pick somebody to give an Amazon gift card to. So we do that kind of stuff very often here on the channel. And I think, you know what? Bump it. I think we should do it today. Let's give away an Amazon gift card in the comment section after this video. Eligible entrance. You know, I was going to say, you know what? You have to be in the live stream or have to be on the premiere. But we'll go ahead and open it up to everybody. Um, at the time of this premiere, when this is over, I'll tell you what. We'll pick a winner at try to be fair here let's say 7 p.m eastern standard time i'll pick a winner for an amazon gift card 
and we'll make it a, we'll make it a little bit more juicy today uh, for you guys that are watching anyways that's gonna wrap this video up thank you guys very much for watching I greatly appreciate it and I will catch you guys on the next one